Right. Five tips to help you prepare for the insolvency of your company. Okay. If you're watching this channel, you've either got a strange interest in insolvency or your business is starting to struggle. So I'm going to give you some tips on how you can prepare and how you can get the best of what is generally a pretty bad situation. Okay. Number one, first of all, seek professional advice. First of all, right? When your business starts to struggle financially, the sooner you speak to somebody who can help you, the more options that you're going to have available for you, more options for your employees, better chances that your creditors will get some money back. Number two, make sure you gather all the right, correct and up-to-date financial information. So if you're going into insolvency, it's a really good idea to have your accounts up to date so we can understand exactly where you are at at the point of insolvency. You know, get up-to-date figures of who you owe, you know, up-to-date figures of what you're owed in. Some big, big, big point, and I've done so many videos about this, I've just continually bang on about it, is have you got an overdrawn director's loan account? Don't rely on your last set of accounts that were done 18 months ago because a lot's happened since that last set of accounts. And that's why it's sometimes a good, well, mainly it's a good idea to get some accurate up-to-date accounts. Even if you have to get your accountant to shorten the year end, if they do a up-to-date set of accounts, it will show whether or not you have an overdrawn director's loan account. And if you do have one, it's going to cause you an issue in insolvency and you need to deal with it up front, not down the line. Okay. Number three, assess all your options. You know, I, I, I hear it quite regularly at the moment where people are being ill-advised you know, they're being forced into liquidation where maybe, maybe they could have done some informal payment arrangements or they're being advised to go in a CVA when really they should be going into liquidation. Um, you know, take advice, take advice early and take advice on more than one company as well. Um, you, you know, it's not always the first view that you get that's going to be the best view for you okay so assess all the options number four plan for the future you know you, you if your business goes into insolvency well have you got stuff that you need to deal with have you got any personal guarantees that are going to be called upon have you got any overdrawn director's loan accounts that you're going to have to do a deal with the insolvency practitioner to repay some or all of it back over a period of time? You know, insolvency doesn't have to be the end. It, listen, it's the end of that company, but it might be the fresh start that you need as a director. And, and one thing that I know I found is when I actually went into liquidation, it was like a chapter was shut in my head and it allowed me to, to focus on, on what I had a, um, ahead of me, okay? So it's really important that you, you, you look at what is the future going to look like without your business, without the income you get from the business. And five, for God's sake, cooperate with the insolvency practitioner. Seriously. Their job is to investigate the conduct of the creditors, uh, sorry, conduct of the directors, you. And it, their job is to realise money for creditors. They're there to represent creditors in an insolvency scenario, okay? Now, if you just stop responding to, to them, you don't answer the calls, you don't respond to letters, it's going to look bad on you. It's going to negatively impact you and your future. So when they ask for stuff, give it them. When they email you, respond when they ask you to. And if they're emailing you stuff or, or asking you questions you're uncomfortable about, maybe you need to seek legal advice. But comply and don't bury your head in the sand. Let me just have a look at a couple of notes. Yeah, so... It is. Insolvency can be challenging. It can be stressful, you know, especially if you've never been through it before and, you know, it's your first rodeo. But follow these five points and you'll get a better outcome than if you didn't.
I'm going to review them with you again very quickly. Number one, get professional advice early. Number two, gather all accurate information. You know, be on the ball with your numbers. What you owe, what's owed in. Do you have any directors, loan accounts? Number three, assess all your options. Liquidation might not be right for you. A CVA might not be right for you. Voluntary liquidation might not be right for you. Assess all those options. Number four, plan for the future. What's life going to be like when you don't have this business, when you don't have these business debts, but when you also don't have these business, this business income? And five, comply with your insolvency practitioner. Take your time to find the right insolvency practitioner, but when you've made the decision, do what they ask you to do. I hope you found this useful. See you soon.